Daily up morning brief for the grain markets. I'm Rich Paz for Critical Point. It's October 26th. It's 8.08 a.m. Eastern Time. Okay, so in the corn market, uh, and well, corn, soybeans, wheat, they're behaving normally, okay? I'm a little concerned of fallout maybe for from the economy, stock market, financial issues uh, for the soybeans. Uh, but I think that ought to be minimum, really, in terms of an actual price impact. Uh, you know, and I'm concerned of where we're we going for exports, how sluggish will things be in the future. But at this time, everything's on track to how the supply demand is fluctuating, flowing. This is a normal setback, and I'm looking for a level three bottom any day now into early next week. So if you see a higher close, turnaround day. Uh, better still turn around week. Well, we got a level three bottom in and I'm still forecasting all three markets to be higher next week. But I'm not looking for a, a huge up move here. Uh, everything may be range bound all the way in, into the year, but those larger trends do offer some upside uh, during November. Uh, don't see anything else going on here uh, news wise. Uh, that's the best I can tell you is it's pulled back to some of uh, the lower objectives for these markets here, uh, specifically for corn. And I just want to watch out for a turnaround action. Uh, as of this morning, I don't see any signs that they are done selling for a level three trend, but they ought to be close. Okay. And again, this just seems to be normal behavior and what I think is a developing pattern that can be bullish into next summer. Past results are not necessarily indicative of future results. I will uh, try to do the weekly update late today. I don't know whether it's late afternoon, sometime in the evening here, uh, but we'll see if I can get set up shop and uh, get that out to you. Thank you.